COVID-19 pandemic changed the educational landscape in the Philippines, UNESCO reports 28 million students were affected. The status of the internet connectivity in the Philippines is behind compared to other developing countries in Asia. The inefficiency and high cost of internet connection in the country hinders users in their virtual learning activities. It is also related to the socioeconomic concerns of learners and educators. Culture may influence individuals to their ideology, behavior, and interaction with their surroundings, which is reflected in how students and teachers interpret online learning. I am Rita C. Ramos, the project leader for the research study development of a Filipinized learning management system. Other members of the team, Professor Primo Garcia, Assistant Professor Lini Redulme, Assistant Professor Ria Cabales, Hannah May Rosario, Marie Karen Enrile, Carissa Doliente, Adrian Sandoval, and Ronaldo Benzus. To better understand the needs and situation in remote learning, the researchers explored the user's perspectives, challenges, and cultural context from the nursing education sector in the Philippines. Students and faculty from 11 universities in the Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao regions recounted their online learning and teaching experiences when the COVID-19 pandemic prompted a major transition from face-to-face -to, -face to online education. 85% of educators and 73% of students revealed that the internet connectivity was the major challenge in online learning. Without a stable internet connection, students cannot participate in synchronous classes and access the learning management system. Teachers struggle to teach skills-based courses due to lack of materials and the inability to use the school's skills laboratory. Similarly, assessing student learning skills-based courses was difficult because students could not apply their knowledge in clinical settings. 87.5% of the teachers in the survey perceived online learning as less interactive and engaging due to passive nature of asynchronous learning. Students found it difficult to communicate with their teachers and their fellow students due to the absence of an assigned communication tool. They also reported adverse effects of the extended hours of online learning. On the other hand, both teachers and students acknowledge flexibility, time efficiency, and cost-effectiveness as benefits of online learning. Faculty recognize the ability to conduct classes regardless of the physical space and geographic location of both teachers and students as a benefit. The identified challenges and benefits from the participants were the basis for developing a context-oriented learning management system in the field. Grounded by the actual experiences of Filipino nursing students and educators in the Philippines, our team came up with the following features of the Filipinized learning management system. Offline. This caters to both online and offline modalities. Users may access their modules, videos, and other learning materials by simply downloading them. Students may still be able to use the downloaded materials inside the LMS even if they have no or unstable internet connection. Accessible. The Filipinized Learning Management System will have a web-based and mobile application for its users. This will allow the students and educators to use whatever technology they have access to. Easy to use, the Filipinized is simply and easy to use. The team wanted to avoid overwhelming the users, especially those educators who are not technologically inclined. The Filipinized Learning Management System is the first LMS designed by Filipinos for Filipinos. With this technology, students and educators will be able to experience a better learning environment online. In the upcoming years, the project aims to cater to all fields of courses, and we hope to help all kinds of students, educators, and institutions for the betterment of Philippine education.